Hello everybody and welcome to Sunday. Yes, I know I don't normally do vids on Sunday. This is April the 23rd, 2017. It is 4.45 p.m. in the evening time. Um, my family went out of town to go to some friend's get together thing and I didn't feel like going and so I stayed home and yesterday OMG yesterday I did not make any videos yesterday so yesterday was my Sunday and today is my Saturday I guess I had intended to and very much wanted to uh, make a Saturday's Shiznay's Storytelling. I was so excited about it. So I'm going to make that video, but I'm making it on today, on Sunday. But first, this is a chit-chat video to kind of update y'all. Now, let me tell you about yesterday. Mm, OMG. Yesterday was not a good day. Okay. Uh, to start off with, I was supposed to have the whole day off from keeping my sweet baby. And I do need a break every once in a while. I guess I was just so tired, and if I even know what this is like, maybe I was so exhausted too. I don't even really know if I know how that is or what that is. I know a lot of people that would say I don't, but anyway. Um, I do stress out about things. I stress because I can't have a craft room and have all of my stuff in my room unpacked, go through it, sort it out, organize it. I am stressing over that. So people, yeah, whoever asked me if I stress and how I handle it, I stress. How I handle it, I don't know, but I stress. I go crazy. Uh, anyway, that's a different story. So, the first part of the day, well, let's see. So I'm talking about Saturday, so Friday night. I think I was up late Friday night because I can just never... Friday I had ended up taking, I had the baby, and I think when Elizabeth got home from work, if I'm not miss, messing my days up, I think I was so tired and sleepy that day that when she come in from work, I let her tend to the baby, and I laid down and took a nap. I had to. I couldn't go any further. So then Friday night I was up late and didn't want to sleep, didn't want to go to sleep, couldn't sleep because I had took a nap. So I was up late. So then, it was fine. I was off Saturday, so I got to sleep late. So then I get up, but when I sleep late, well, I feel worser. I feel bad. I drag. I don't feel like doing anything. I can't, like, come alive. I can't get awake. I can't, you know, be happy-go-lucky, cheerful to do things and to do videos. And and uh, half my day is kind of gone, and so I'm bummed and stressed about that. Um... But I was doing along and doing okay and trying to start doing my stuff. And, um, well, Elizabeth had to, had the day off. So, Katie... <gasps> Katie came over and she brought Bella. And her and Elizabeth was going to go shopping. And she had asked me if I wanted Gracie to stay with me. And the way I answered her was I said, it doesn't matter. But I did it in a, not in that tone. I was holding the baby and I was talking to her and greeting her and kissing her and loving her. They had just walked in when she asked. And, and so I had said, it don't matter. Probably like that. But I guess maybe she kind of knew that I needed a break so she decided to take Gracie with her so her and Elizabeth and Gracie went shopping and they left Bella here so they left and I was here by myself again and I was trying to do some stuff and I think I was supposed to get ready to do my videos but hadn't quite made it to it anyway it wasn't long that Albert calls and I don't know if they had 
called him or if he's the one that had decided it. Anyway, he said that he was through. He was coming home and they were bringing Gracie back and he was going to help me watch her because that it was too hot out there for the baby. So, I really don't know if, if he was the one that, you know, if he was concerned about Gracie being out in the heat. He said it was really hot yesterday. So, he comes and he brings our swing, the glider that we had on our porch in Lacombe and in Tennessee. Finally, he brought that and put it on the porch and then the girls drove up and they left Gracie with us. So between me and Albert, we watched Gracie, we played with her, we sat with her on the porch. And Albert seen, cause he would, he blowed a couple of times and he would say, man, I couldn't handle this all the time. And then he looked at me and he said, does she do this all the time, all day long? And I said, yes. Cause she would get over here, which I don't wanna, let me see how I can do this. See those boxes right there? She would get there and hold on to that table and climb up on them boxes and stand up on it. And she's been doing that. Sorry. And uh, now it's got to focus. Y'all give it a minute. And um, I would have to, I would fuss at her. I would say, no, no, Gracie, get down. You're going to fall. And I would get over there and get her. So I was up and down getting her. Well, she'd done it two or three times while he was here, and he seen. So, bless his heart, he hollered at her at one time. I mean, he did, he was the more serious, you know, voice, and he really meant it. And he said, no. And it hurt her feelings, and her broke out, started crying, and Granny almost cried with her, and I reached my hands out to call me a baby to Granny. <laughs> I just can't stand for it to cry like that. But anyway, so, in other words, he's seen how Gracie does, and what I go through all day long, every day, when I keep Gracie. But anyway... I was so tired out. I mean, it wasn't, I mean, we did okay. I mean, you know, I'm thankful he was here to help me, to be honest. But I couldn't, you know, I had not got to my videos, so I couldn't do my videos. So then, but it ain't long they come back in. But we were eating. Albert, I was hungry and I wanted something to eat. And I don't know, lately I've got to where I want salad. But I can't eat. I don't know why it is. I guess I kind of do. He cuts everything up so big. He won't take the time to really cut it up real little. Albert is who he is. Everybody else's salads, like at restaurants and such. I can eat Shoney's. Not that we have a Shoney's around here. <laughs> but anyway. Most restaurants with bars that have salads, I can eat them. There's a Logan's here that has salad. I can eat their salad. So I told him, I said, why don't you go pick us up a salad? So he got him a shrimp salad and me a, I think it's called a chef salad. But they're, it's like, it's big plates and it's piled high. So it was two big old salads. So there was no way I was going to eat all of that salad. So he brings it and we fix us a salad. I fixed me a bowl. We had cartoons on. It was Curious George the monkey. And Gracie was watching and we was eating and we was feeding her a little bit too and all. And then uh, it wasn't long, the girls came in. So they asked if they could have some salad too. So they did, they got some. So I went and fixed me a second bowl of salad. And that was the last of the salad. I was not quite full, and I was wanting some more salad, and that was the last of it. I'd fixed me the bowl. Gracie had crawled over there with me, so I got her hand when I was on my way back over here, and I, I got her hand, and I was had my bowl of lettuce in my left hand. I was holding Gracie's hand with my right hand, and we was walking over here, and of course, 
just holding one hand with her when she's not really walking good yet and good balance she's kind of crooked you know and I have to go slow with her and so I got her over here and I got her between the chair and the couch and let her hold on to the chair arm then I really don't even know how it happened or what happened but I was trying to go around the back of the chair since because that chair was kind of close to the couch and I had stopped her between the chair and the couch that it may not be so now but that's the one I'm talking about so I had stopped her between here I was trying to walk around it to the other side to sit back down and you see how it's rounded at the top I was holding my bowl of lettuce and somehow I guess I was just gonna let my hand go over across the back of the chair and I don't know if I bumped it and that's what done it or if Gracie was trying to trip and I was trying to catch her I don't really know what happened but the bowl started falling out of my hand and I do recall trying my best to catch it and not let it fall I really wanted that salad it falls on the floor so I didn't get to eat my salad but I didn't just get to eat my salad or I didn't just not get to eat my salad, but I broke my last. It's either a swan or a duck bowl from Piggly Wiggly. And guess what? I busted out and started crying. That was my last bowl. So then I went to bed. While they were still here eating, I just went and laid down. Couldn't take it anymore. Now, to explain the bowl, back in the day when I was first married, kind of first married, I think it may have been even been after we moved to Vicksburg, Mississippi, <gasps> and moved back home to Collins, Mississippi, out on Bowie Swamp. Anyway, our Piggly Wiggly, which was our grocery store in our town, Collins. And that's where we shopped, and they done all these things. I don't know if grocery stores do this anymore, or if any of y'all know about this, or, or have heard about this, or maybe have done it yourself before. But they, you know, every once in a while, at certain times, they'll have dishes or whatever. But what you do, you buy groceries, and then you get, like, these little cards, and you get stickers, and you put it on the card and you got to fill it all out and when you get a full card you can get so much or if you get so many cards full then you can get a such and such part of this dish set that was the dish set we had gotten several of those things plates saucers bowls cups glasses Now that I think about it, I may even be wrong on that. This may have been Mama's. And I may have got it from her when I got married. Because I remember when I got married, I, Mama let me go through her dishes and get the favorite things that I really liked. And have them and take them with me. So it might have been that. I don't remember. Mama, do you remember? But I was thinking we had done it. I thought me and Albert had done this too, though. Either way, whatever it was, we had gotten several of these dishes, and that was my last piece, my last bowl. I love that. I was even so proud. My other little bowls like that that I have, I can see they have cracks starting in them like they're going to break. And I even remember here a while back, it wasn't too long ago, I noticed a crack, and I even thought to myself, I still have this one, whether it's a duck or a swan, I can't remember, and I was thinking, you know, and it don't have a crack. And I said, at least I've got this one last one. And then here I go and drop and break the thing. Made me so sick. Made me so sick. So anyway, that was yesterday. Today, I've been organizing. And rearranging some things <laughs> and I would like to share that with y'all and show y'all and hopefully we're at 14 minutes hopefully this won't go over 20 minutes 
So let's see. I'm going to turn you around. So there's the front door. There's the living room. Okay, the first thing I'm going to show you, I finally brought the stereo back in here. Did I ever show y'all our closet we got? I think I did. But he had moved, see the top part is the stereo and the bottom part is the stand. The records is in it against the wall. Katie turned it around so Gracie won't pull the records out. Oh, that's another thing that bothers me. You know, when I was young and my kids was young, I never moved a thing to keep them out of it. I spatted their hand and taught them no and they didn't. They learned it. I'm mad at myself because I cannot make myself spat Gracie's hand and teach her. I do some, I do a little bit, but it's hard when she puckers them lips up and cries. <laughs> but it's bothering me that I'm moving everything for her too. You know, because that ain't right. You ain't supposed to do that. Anyway. <laughs> so I brought the stereo back in here because we had gotten a closet. I'll show you that in a minute. Our room's messy though, but I don't care. Y'all know me. I think I showed it to you before. I can't really remember. But anyway. Alright, so. Playpen. So the play, play pen is now there. Remember how I was keeping it over here beside my my desk in front of my drawers? Nope. Now Butchie's Blanky and Toys is still there. Okay. Remember my shelves, what they looked like? Remember how I had a lot of boxes and stuff in front of them? And I told you I'd been doing a little organizing and I wanted to do some more? Take a look at it now. Let me know in the comments below if you notice anything different. So that's what my corner with my two shelves looks like. No boxes sitting in front of it. Oh yeah, I, the little end table here, I moved it there. It was over here as well as that white rack, remember? You'll see where those are in a minute. Well, that's right there. And so, therefore, I moved the garbage can because I had the garbage can right there. I was going to put it there under it, but it won't fit. That's too narrow. So, I just put it over there. And remember, I had that turned backwards because Gracie was pulling the drawers out. Well, now I've turned it sideways. Let's see if she stays out of them, though. I was tired of everything sitting in front of my, de my shelves. And I did some more organizing and unpacking a few things and... I did that shelf, and I did that shelf, and then those are basically the same, and I let, you know, earlier I had put those up there, and I think I told y'all about that, so I have did that different, I've did that one different, that's kind of basically the same, now I've got some boxes down there on the bottom one, and then I got that basket sitting on top of that. Now, <clears throat> for this side, okay, this is still the same. I would love for this to be moved out from in front of my sticker drawers. Gracie would probably get them. It's keeping her out of them. I like that part, but I'd like for it to be seen, and I'd love for me to be able to get to it easy without having to pull that out. Alright, everything is still on the table, you know, the same. I have moved some things, so I've set, this was catacornered, and I know y'all probably don't know this, but it was catacornered because my heat gun was back here. I now got it pushed this way. I also had my glue gun here, but I have put this here. I got to clean these up, and I'm going to put some twine on them and stuff. Yes, Donna. I have went through some of your stuff, or maybe all of it. I think I've went through, I think I'm getting those mixed up. I think that other box I got to go through was the one that um, Angela had given me for Christmas. Um, that's probably what that is, but I gotta clean these up. Okay, then all of this is the same basically. My mat. Okay, and then this is my, uh, I need to move this over here. This, oh, that's that candy jar. It's got one piece of candy left. <laughs> um, so, y'all see why after a while. Um, 
So my box with books in it back there. My little carousel turn thing here. My duct tapes. The washi tapes. All that was kind of the same. So I have my heating pad. Kind of all of that is the same. Uh-oh. We went over 20. It's impossible. I'm just going to give up trying. So anyway, I've also... Uh, that's an empty box that I might can use after a while. That's a box I can go through later. That bag I want to go through later. This is here kind of handy because I'm getting the hankering and wanting to work with those and make something out of those that I'm going to make. But I rearranged the cord thing and kind of got it a little bit neater. And tell me what y'all see different here. And I know I may have never even showed y'all this before like this. But my card table that I set at with my laptop used to be right there next to the table. And that is my drawers back there. It was over here on the end by my table against the couch. And there's the white rack. I had moved it over here in front of it. And then I had moved this in front of the white rack. But then I decided, hey, move it around this way. That gets this stuff, because I knew with putting all that in front of that, see, that's where I had the playpen, right in front of the drawers, the plastic drawers that was over here. The playpen was in front of it, and it was right here beside my table. Uh, and that's when the rack was over here. And these things was over here on a bunch of boxes. So, I had moved the rack in front of the drawers when it was here and moved these in front of the rack when it was here. But I thought to myself, I knew Gracie was probably going to try to get into all that. She's already been pulling that stuff out when it was back over here by the shelves. And I wanted the playpen over here. I had wanted it there you know, originally to begin with when we first got it. But they had just brought it in, set it up there, and we ne had never moved it. I'd never tried to, I had never tried to arrange anything different. So, I've arranged it this way. That gets this stuff over here. My table's here. I'll be sitting here. Hopefully that can kind of help keep her away from over there. Yes, I know she can come around on this side, but I hopefully can keep her from it and I can roll my chair back and forth from table to table as I need it and I am soon wanting to put yes I've rearranged some things under there that's I got to go through that one and that box and I got to go through this box that's on the table and um not that I'm going to do all that today you know but anyway so I've got it like this. I'm happy with it like this. My lamp is leaning. You can see it's tilting. But I needed it by my table to put light down on me as I'm working there. So I moved it over. And the way it is for that to fit in there and for the table to go right against it and not be hanging out some, it leans. And I'm, I'm okay with that. I've got my wind chime hanging on it and my little um, thing I made. hanging up there on it my bird wind chime okay so i have put like in here i put my yarns i put some material down in there so i still have my cotton bags i've got my yarns here they were on my shelves over there and then that's my sewing with all my crochet needles and stuff like that in it and then then there's all of that stuff and then all of this I've got material in that thing. There's materials and laces in there. It belonged in another basket that's in storage that hadn't got out yet. So there's that. And then that's the diapers and wipes under there. So, I'm liking this so far. You know what? I've just seen that. That can go over some more. I saw it. Hey, y'all. Oh, crap. She came out. <laughs> they come, yes, because uh, Katie and Marcus and Gracie went with them and they brought Bella to me. Why'd you come out, babe girl? 
I had y'all snuggled in good and warm. You get so cold and you shiver all the time. Oh, were you stretching? Did you have a good nap? Did you have a good nap? You ready to come out? You're still shivering though as soon as you get out of the warm cover. And Butchie's laying over there on that, on the floor by the door. So that's what I've done today, and I am excited about it. And I just wanted to share that with y'all. And I was hoping it would only take a, under a 20 minute vid, but no, it's gonna take a, a stupid two of them that I might have to connect together, but oh well, I can't help it. So anyway, okay, um, and I guess that's all I have to tell y'all on that. Now, I'm fixing to do a Saturday Shays Nace video that I was supposed to do yesterday for Saturday. I'm going to do it today for Sunday. And y'all just get ready to see an adult do a very childish thing. That's all I'm saying. So I am out of here until next time. I'm done. I'm going to lose.